CJ2K is back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, the running back, Chris Johnson, has signed a one-year deal with the Arizona Cardinals. So what does it mean for fantasy owners? I'll let you know. Guys, I'm Nick Heron with the Fantasy Football Swagger Show, and like I said, I want to talk to you guys today about the signing of Chris Johnson to the Arizona Cardinals. Now, obviously, CJ2K last year spent some time with the New York Jets, was moderately productive, splitting carries with Chris Ivory, uh, about 4.2 yards per carry, nothing special, not terrible, but on a team that really didn't have much of an offense around him. Now, Moving over to the Arizona Cardinals, I don't think there's any question that the talent in that offense is substantially better. You've got three wide receivers that are pretty decent. You've got a quarterback that's probably better as well in Carson Palmer now that he's healthy again. So I think that the situation for Chris Johnson in Arizona is actually better. Now, a couple of different concerns. First of all, the offensive line in Arizona is a huge question mark right now. Last year, they did not perform well. Even when Andre Ellington was healthy, he had a low yards per carry. I believe he was below 4.0 yards per carry and nobody else really stepped up to perform when Ellington went out so there really wasn't a whole lot of rushing yardage to go about last season now again I, I did mention that Carson Palmer will be back this year which should help up the out the whole offense as a whole uh, but also in addition to the, the passing game I think that you're going to see better running lanes for the runners this year because they won't be able to sit and stack the box against these horrible quarterbacks like they had last year now, unfortunately for Chris Johnson, I'm not really particularly certain that that's really going to matter that much. First of all, I don't think Chris Johnson is taking over the starting job, at least not anytime soon. I think that this signing is definitely a depth signing. I don't think it has anything to do with who's going to get the ball in week one. I still believe that will be Andre Ellington. And David Johnson, I think this is kind of a more concerning thing for him. Now, I'm not trying to say that David Johnson doesn't have a future in the NFL, but it sounds like the Cardinals have been fairly disappointed in what they've gotten from him so far in training camp and through the preseason. But at the same time, you know, we're, we're with David Johnson, we're kind of thinking more toward the future, right? Well, and also, we, I guess we were kind of thinking of him as being a potential handcuff to Andre Ellington if we do draft Andre Ellington. So basically what I'm saying here is that I think David Johnson's still the guy to own going in the into the future so if you're in your dynasty leagues i think that he's perfectly fine to take with a late round flyer don't necessarily expect anything from him uh, as far as production unless we see andre ellington go down in which case i kind of think that it's still going to be chris johnson that's actually going to step in and replace andre ellington given the fact that chris johnson is you know he's a he's a veteran nfl running back at this point he does have uh, decent pass protection skills. He's a good receiver out of the backfield, uh, which is kind of what Andre Ellington is as well. But unfortunately, uh, obviously, Andre Ellington does have the injury concerns. So Chris Johnson is somebody who could be drafted in fantasy drafts. I I'm still, I'm not super excited about him. I mean, people will always think about Chris Johnson as being the guy who went off for 2,000 yards and about, what, 2,500 total yards back in 2009. But guys, we're in 2015. That's a long time ago. Chris Johnson's 29 years old right now, which is still, it's not past his prime necessarily. I mean, maybe it is a little bit past his prime just because he's got so much tread on his tires, but he's definitely getting toward the end of his career. And that was kind of made clear given the fact that it took this long for any team to sign him. And there are some bad backfields out there right now. Look at Cleveland, for example. I mean, there, there are definitely some places where Chris Johnson should have gotten an opportunity, but teams just aren't really that excited about what they've seen from him on film. So given that, I'm not super excited about what Chris Johnson's going to bring to the table. I think you're kind of looking at him as being a guy who's going to get maybe at five carries a week until Andre Ellington gets hurt. And I say until because unfortunately it's a pretty good likelihood from what we've seen from him throughout his career. But even if Chris Johnson does get onto the field, it, I don't think that you're going to get some big spectacular running back numbers out of him. If you're in an eight-team league, a 10-team league, Chris Johnson's a borderline draftable player. When you start to get up to the 12-team, the 14-team, the 16-team leagues, then he becomes kind of a more valuable handcuff. But I still don't think he's like a, a, one of the best handcuffs. I'd still rather have like a Niall Davis, for example, than I would a Chris Johnson. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. Hopefully you got some good information in this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Give me a little bit of help on the channel and hit that subscribe button as well. I would greatly appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section below, and I'll try and answer them for you. Thanks again, guys, and I'll talk to you next time here on the Fantasy Football Swagger Show.